So the other day when I was doing my rock tumbling, I thought, what would happen if I mixed every stage of grit into one tumbling barrel? What would happen to my rocks? So that is what we are going to do today. I'm going to take all four stages of our polyplastics grit, mix them into one tumbling barrel with some rocks, let them go on the tumbler for a week, and see what happens. Let's find out, I guess. So before we get started, if you like this kind of content, make sure you give this video a big ol' thumbs up, and if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. I make new videos like this every single week. Let's get started. So here I have my container of my rocks that I want to be polished. Now, I don't know if I necessarily want to risk this experiment on like some of my really nice rocks. So I might go through here and find some of the ones that I won't be too concerned if for some reason they get catastrophically ruined. Now while it would take me a while to go through all of the rocks that I'm gonna put in, I just wanna go through a select few. We've got some chalcedony here and see what these look like before and after. We've got some flint. This one is abandoned something. We've got some chert. Here is a smoky quartz. It's got a lot of cracks and I'm not sure how that one's gonna do, but we'll try it out. We've got ourselves a little banded red jasper and another piece of chalcedony here. So we are gonna see what happens to these rocks when I put all four of the grits in the tumbler with them. Okay, so I put all of the rocks in the tumbler. Now we just have to add our water and all four of our grits. So we'll start with the water. That's about the level that you want it at. Here are all the grits that we're gonna be using. We're using polyplastics, and we're gonna use steps one through four. So 60 by 90 grit, silicone carbide. We have 180 by 120 grit, silicone carbide, step two. Step three is the pre-polish, which is 500 grit, silicone carbide. And last but not least, step four, which is 1,200 fine aluminum oxide. Now all three of these, except for the aluminum oxide, are all silicone carbides. I don't know if adding aluminum oxide to silicone carbide is gonna make like any sort of weird chemical reaction. Hopefully this doesn't like explode in my basement or something with pressure, but we're gonna do it for the sake of science. Now typically for barrels like this, I do two full tablespoons of each stage by themselves. But since we have four different ones that we're gonna be working with, I'm going to be using a half of tablespoon of each grit. Okay, so we're gonna start with step one here and we're gonna do a half a tablespoon of step one into our tumbler. Here's what this one looks like. We'll get a half a tablespoon, try to make it as level as I can and pour that in. Clean off my spoon just a little bit so that we don't mix the grits in the containers. Now we'll go on to step two here and we'll get this one in. Now as these steps go on, they do become a finer powder so you can see that this one looks a lot finer than the first one. So we will do a half a tablespoon of this one and it goes. Here's what it's looking like so far. You can see the two grits kind of mixing together. Next is step three. And here's what this one looks like. As you can tell, this one is a really fine powder. So we will take half a tablespoon of this one. That looks pretty even. And we'll plop that in here. Time to add step four. We have our one different one, which is the aluminum oxide. And this one will be the finest powder of them all. You can see here, this is the polishing powder, which is white. So we will take a final scoop of polish and we'll pop it in and here is what it looks like all together I'm gonna like swirl it around should have grabbed a spoon or something but yeah so you can kind of see like here's some of the thicker stuff there's some of the more powdery and then we've got our polish okay rinse this off a little bit all right it is time to put our barrel on the tumbler for one week and we'll see what happens <laughs> Did I say a week? You know what I meant was over a month. <laughs> now, I was gonna end up taking the rocks off of the tumbler one week later, but I kind of figured that after one week, there wasn't really gonna be that much change. So when I went to go downstairs to grab my tumbler barrel, I decided, 
no, I'm not going to get them yet. I'm gonna wait a month. It's actually been a little over a month, probably like 35-ish days, but I'm really excited to see what these look like because it has been so long and I kind of almost forgot even the rocks that I put in here. So let's take a look at what happens when you put all four steps of grit into one tumbler barrel with some raw rocks. <laughs> I'm really excited. All right, the moment of truth. I'm kind of excited to see like what the grit slurry is gonna look like to see, you know, is it gonna be really foamy or is it gonna be really flat? Let's find out. Ooh, okay, so it's pretty flat. There's really no foam. It's kind of a weirdish color. So let's get it rinsed off. All right, time to pour them in. You know, the consistency of the water is really interesting too. Ooh, okay, okay, let's see. And no grit was stuck on the bottom, so that's a good sign. We'll rinse out our little bucket here. Let's see what they look like. Hmm, okay. We'll take a minute and rinse them off really good. Okay, now what I am actually kind of surprised with is how smooth these rocks feel. When I was rinsing them off, like they, I mean, they have weird cracks and things like that, but they actually feel really, really smooth. So I think what I'm gonna do is, just to give them the best fighting chance, I think I'm going to put them back in the tumbler with some soap and some water, um, just to get any of the extra grit off of them. And then we can take a look at what they look like, but they kind of almost look like they're a little bit polished. Like if they dry, I wonder if they'll be shiny. I don't know, but not what I was expecting, I guess. <laughs> I was really thinking that they would still be pretty rough, especially since they only had a half of a tablespoon of grit one and a half of a tablespoon of grit two. Ooh, that's a cool one. So let's put these back in the tumbler and we will see what they look like after they go through a little bit of a wash cycle. Okay, so we have them back in the barrel. I put some Dawn dish soap in there. We are going to cap this back up. I probably will only tumble it in this soapy solution maybe until this afternoon. Right now it's early morning, so probably only eight hours or so, just to see what happens when we get them all nice and clean. And hopefully, I don't know, I'm kind of excited to see what they look like when they're dry. And if some of them are polished, that's like going to blow my mind. <laughs> all right, let's go put these back on the tumbler. Okay, these have been tumbling for over eight hours now in their soapy mixture, and we are gonna take a peek at what they look like now. You know, I was thinking about this experiment all month, and I was just so excited to see what they look like, and now that they are finally ready, I'm excited to see what they look like dry and see the difference. Got some nice soapy bubbles here. And I'm just gonna go through and rinse these off quick and then grab a towel to dry them and let's take a look at what happens when you mix all four grits into one tumble barrel. Okay, so here they are. One month of raw rocks in a tumbler with all four grits. Now, these are still a little bit wet, um, so I'm going to kind of dry them off even more because right now they're looking pretty shiny and like almost like I truly did polish them. But I'm wondering, as this one is starting to dry here, you can see it's kind of starting to crack and get a little bit more of a dull finish instead of that kind of shiny finish that you see, which is mainly just from the water. So let's dry some of these off really well and see kind of what they look like. Okay, so I dried this one off completely and I'm actually kind of surprised by the results. Like, it is pretty shiny. Now, it's not as shiny as like what I typically would expect from actually going through the polishing stages, but it's kind of got like a, like almost a dull shine, which I, I really just wasn't even expecting a shine at all on these, so I'm pretty impressed. Let's take a look at some of the others once I dry them off here. Here is this next one. It's kind of got like that dull shine again to it. It does feel really smooth, at least on some of the parts. Now this part's not really that smooth because, you know, it's got like cracks, but like on the, on the soft side, it feels almost like satiny as compared to like when you polish them, it feels, I don't know, past satiny. <laughs> it feels polished. I don't really know how to explain it, I guess. 
but that is so interesting. So you can still kind of see though, a little bit of a shine. Let's look at a few more. So now here is one of the agates. You can kind of see the agate bands poking through there. As you can see, some of that polish and stuff is getting stuck in all these cracks and it's actually making them expand. So this one <laughs> does not look quite as good as some of the other ones. You can even see like some marks here on the surface of the rock as well, like little lines. I'm not really sure what that's from, but kind of interesting. This one doesn't, didn't turn out quite as well. This one's kind of cool. It's got like a little thumbprint. I've also noticed like some of these tiny chips that have broken off and look at this cute little guy. A little unikite. How cute is that? <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I noticed these little chips that have broken off as well. So these here are the ones that we kind of used in the comparison in the beginning. Here is the afters of what they look like. And like I said, like kind of impressed with how shiny they are. That is definitely not what I was expecting. That's kind of got cool patterning. Looks really interesting. But yeah, overall, I don't know. Is this what you thought would happen? I I like really wasn't sure, but I, I didn't expect them to get, e oh, and look at that. Look how shiny that little part is right there. That is so interesting. But yeah, what did you think overall? That one actually turned out pretty good. That one almost looks like it was polished. Still, like I said, not to the, the level that I like to do it where it's, more shiny and kind of less satiny, but some people do like kind of like the satiny look. So maybe it's a trick to give you that satiny look. That one looks really cool too, actually. I kind of like how that looks. And the last one here, a little Jasper. That one looks pretty good too. Overall, I think the experiment was a success. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these now. <laughs> Probably retumble most of them. But there are a few, a few contenders that I honestly might just kind of keep as is. So we definitely did get some really interesting results. I was not expecting like any sort of smoothing or finish, kind of like the satiny finish that we got even. So that was pretty interesting, I think. Is that what you thought would happen? Let me know in the comments below. And if you liked this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. I make new videos like this every single week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.